Andreas, we've been told that the sun will give sunlight will give us cancer, skin cancer. Yes. And you say that's absolutely not true. That, that's no, there is no proof yet to that effect. In fact, yeah, it's the opposite. That lack of sunshine mm -hmm. causes skin cancer. Um, you may know that many people have skin cancers in areas that are never even exposed to the sun. That's true. And so it's not the sun. Uh, the, the UVB is uh, now you know, take, t taken off the hook. It's no longer mm -hmm. uh, the culprit. There's a brand new study that just came out and it showed that UVB doesn't cause the cancer. It's the UVA. Now, when you use sunscreens, and there are many sunscreens that just block out UVB, so mm -hmm. you don't tan, you, know, you basically right. uh, you to don't burn, skin. so that you don't burn your skin. Um, skin burning is not a good idea, uh, yeah, in any case. You don't want to you burn would, your yeah. skin. Yeah. So typically, if your body is uh, in the sun too long, it will start burning. You, you, know, you would want to get out of it. Mm -hmm. uh, whereas if you put sun tan lotion on, you don't get that signal and you allow a lot of penetration of UVA. Now there are some of these uh, other you know, screens you know, that are blocking out both UVA and UVB and you think, oh, now I'm safe. Right. Yes, but you are becoming vitamin D deficient while being in the sun. And if you are vitamin D deficient? Vitamin D deficient, your, ca your cancer risk goes right up. Okay. So again, uh, skin cancer, any, any kind of cancer. Right. So you, you need your vitamin D in order to be cancer free. So Again, 77% of all cancers can be reversed or uh -huh. avoided by having normal vitamin D levels, according to a Crichton University study. Okay, so you shouldn't get sunburn. You should avoid that. But if you're not wearing sunscreen, your body will tell you if you're getting too much. Yes, the body will, you know, you, once your skin starts reddening, mm -hmm. that's the time to go out. But after regular, if you start increasing your sun exposure you know, little by little, you will have a natural protection in the skin, which is called tanning. Yes, and I've And then read that. you can stay out in the sun you know, hours. I lived in Cyprus for 15 years. It's a very, it's a 330 days sunlight, very bright sunlight, very warm. Mm -hmm. I could stay out in the sun all day long and would never have any sunburn or any damage to the skin. Because the best sunscreen is a, a good tan. Yes. And again, uh, the, the people in the, in the countries where they have the highest UV radiation, mm -hmm. um, that is the equator, you know, the countries right. in the, you know, near the equator, or the high altitude, the Swiss Alpine you know, mountains or mm -hmm. the German Alps, you have 400% you know, more exposure to UV radiation. They don't have any skin cancers in those places. None. No. The, the places that have the most are pl places like London uh, in England very little sun exposure. Uh, the Northern Plains, Norway, uh, near Denmark, uh, Finland, uh, Scotland, the most, okay. and uh, Canada. And Canada. Okay. So the least uh, where people have low vitamin D levels, not enough sun exposure during the winter month, that's often when they have the outbreaks. But we can actually harm our skin by using sunscreens? Definitely. Sunscreens are they are composed of sometimes dozens of, of chemicals, carcinogens, mm -hmm. that are normally, if you put that in the food, let's say if a pro food processing, processing company mm -hmm. like uh, your Healthy Choice or whatever would put that in the food, they would lose their license and the owners would be oh, imprisoned okay. because it's extremely dangerous to put that in the food. But you're allowed to put it on the skin. Where is it going? After an hour, you put some more on it because it's gone. You absorb most of that stuff. These chemicals are highly absorbable. They enter the bloodstream, and where do they go? They go to the liver, mm -hmm. and then the liver has to you know, break them down. But that overtaxes the liver. You make what you, know, you may go into that, uh, producing a lot of intrahepatic gallstones, and some of them accumulate in the tissues, in the connective tissues. And if they happen to be in the skin area, under the skin, they saturate there you may develop skin cancer because you took the sunscreens. So oh. sunscreens are now a leading cause of skin cancer because people are slathering, it, slathering on. it on their skin and they absorb that stuff. And then the other problem that happens, they wash off There's the, the, that stuff with soap. So they soap their whole body afterwards to get it off. And with it, they get rid of all the vitamin D that incident or accidentally may have been created on the skin. When you use soap 
after sunbathing, let's say even without sunscreens, you know, if you just you know, make mm-hmm. vitamin D, make sure you don't use soap to wash your skin except under the arms and in the genital area where the sun doesn't go anywhere and the vitamin mm-hmm. D is not made. Uh, you don't want to wash it off because the, the vitamin D stays on your skin for up to 48 hours and gradually is absorbed and that's how you are building it in the body. So you don't want to wash it off. Not right with away. With soap, not right away. Okay. So soap is not necessary anyway. I've not used soap um, <laughs> except when you have make your hands dirty with oil or something else. So you don't want to you know, diminish your skin of the vital bacteria that live there, that reside there, that keep the skin healthy and nourished and produce uh, certain you know, vitamins actually on the skin. Uh, so the bacteria are best friends. You don't want to kill them off all the time. 